that Nintendo always keeping secrets. Name's Dave with Mojo Plays, and today we'll be counting down the seven secrets from Nintendo games that took fans years to find. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the most interesting Easter eggs or secrets buried in the code of Nintendo games, and for some reason or another, they weren't revealed within their first year or so. The Underwater Metroid, Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze. Retro Studios has become a beloved developer for Nintendo by producing the fantastic Metroid Prime Trilogy, and they became even more cherished for breathing new life into Donkey Kong Country. In 2014, the team released Tropical Freeze, a sequel to Donkey Kong Country Returns, and it wasn't long before fans found Samus's crashed ship in the Busted Bayou level. But another Easter egg took much longer to find, four and a half years to be exact. Twitch user Shane Marshes discovered a young Metroid floating in the background of the level Amiss Abyss, but it was definitely well hidden. Around the halfway point, you'll swim through a tunnel, only by backtracking through it and swimming through a clump of electric seaweed will you reveal the secret. Well done, Shane. Well done. Player's Master Hand Super Smash Bros. Melee In the second entry of this series, fans actually got to play as this giant boss, though the glitch definitely took some patience. First, make sure the controller is plugged into port number 3. Inside the character select screen, you'll need to back out at the same time as selecting a name. With no character name selected and your cursor on a black box, hit A and B at the same time. Let go of A and press it again precisely when the game tries to back out. Timing it correctly should let you move forward with a match to play as Master Hand, or at least for player 3. But here's the thing, it can sometimes make the game freeze. This trick was discovered by Smashboard user Xcord92 in 2008, seven years after Melee's release. An easy win over Bald Bull. Mike Tyson's punch out. Old school games are notoriously difficult. In Mike Tyson's punch out for the NES, Lil Mac battled his way through an increasingly intimidating boxes. Take Bald Bull for example. His signature move is the Bull Charge, which will knock Lil Mac down in one hit. He'll hop forward three times, and you'll need to punch right after the third one to stop him in his tracks. Timing can be a little bit tricky, but there is a secret to make it much easier. On the right side of the audience, a camera flash signals when exactly to attack. Fans didn't actually discover this though. Instead, it was revealed in a 2009 interview with the late Satoru Iwata, 22 years after the game's console release. The Orrowing, The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time features a plethora of memorable enemies, though one took some work to uncover. By using a GameShock device or other tools for modding, fans found that they could bring an Arwing in to fight Link. This inclusion of the classic Star Fox ship was discovered in 2005, around 7 years after the game's release. And while it may seem completely random, there is a legitimate explanation. In 2011, character and graphics designer Satoru Takizawa revealed that the Star Fox 64 code was used for the programming of the Fireboss Temple, Volvagia. The dragon's flight patterns are the same as the enemy fighter pallets during certain scenes in Star Fox 64, and they used the R-Wing to test out how the boss should move. <laughs> AX Arcade Game F-Zero GX F-Zero is one of Nintendo's most underappreciated franchises. The last North American home console release was 2003's F-Zero GX, which was also released simultaneously with the arcade title F-Zero AX. Contents from the two titles such as different races, vehicles and gameplay elements could be shared via a memory card. AX tracks could be unlocked by progressing through the GX's campaign. A decade after the release of both titles, 
A modder named Ralph found the entirety of AX's code hidden on the GX's disk with an action replay device. AX was hard enough to find in 2003, let alone 10 years later. So it's nice to know that there's a way fans can enjoy all of its content with a little bit of work. Hidden ZX Spectrum Games, GoldenEye 007. At the height of their popularity, Rare worked on some of Nintendo's most treasured games. One of them revolutionized console FPSs, GoldenEye 007. The Bond adaptation featured a ton of great cheats and secrets, but one secret wasn't found until 2012, 15 years after the game's release. While developing the game, Rare had a team working on the possibility of emulating titles from the ZX Spectrum on the N64. The British home computer for which Rare developed many games was originally released in 1982. GoldenEye 007 was the game they were working on at the time of the idea, and the emulator was implemented but never removed. The 10 games can still be accessed, albeit through some very complicated memes. The 977th coin, Donkey Kong 64. Donkey Kong 64 is infamous for its immense amount of collectibles. It's packed with golden bananas, medals, fairies, crowns, coins, and whoever mabubbits. This has to be an Everest-like achievement for 100% speedrunners. A whopping 17 years after the game's release, speedrunner Isotage discovered one more thing to collect. In each of the game's hidden worlds hides a rainbow coin, which can be uncovered by performing a slam attack on special mounds of dirt. Rainbow coins add 5 regular coins to each character's total which are used to purchase upgrades. Each world normally hides one. However, Fungi Forest has a second mound hidden in some tall grass. This makes 977 coins to find, which is obviously insane. But for the passionate players, it merely adds to the challenge. Check out these other great clips from Mojo Place, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos straight away.